Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mesner Media tutorial, I'm going to be taking a look at how to create another vintage type look using some light leaks and other fun techniques. This is especially good when you need to spice up kind of bland footage. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So I've got this kind of boring shot of this airplane on a, you know, runway, taxiway, whatever. I'm not a pilot. I don't know these things. But anyway, it looks kind of bland, and we don't want it to look that bland. Let's make it look more interesting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to watch this and notice that the footage is pretty shaky. So we're going to stabilize this just a little bit. Now, as I mentioned in my How to Stabilize Footage in DaVinci Resolve tutorial, link up on the screen now, Resolve Stabilizer is not the greatest in the world, but it does its job when it needs to most of the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these to what the default would be 100 and 0 and so you just have a clean starting place and then we're going to make sure that we have our stabilizer selected over in our tracker window and track forwards and track backwards and just make sure the whole shot is tracked now if the little trackers that were going on the airplane are a problem we can go into interactive mode and delete those as you can see right here we can just we should be able to delete those and as you can see we are no longer tracking that airplane i'm sure we would have been fine without that but now you know how to do that Next thing we're going to do is bring our strong down to probably like 50 and our smooth up to, you know, a fair bit. We're not going to be too scientific about that and make sure we have zoom selected. Hit stabilize and play this back and we'll see how this looks. And I say that's acceptably stable. I don't want it to be locked down, just kind of not as handheld and jittery. So I think that looks good. The next thing we're going to do is uh, bump up the contrast some. So let's bring this lift down good bit we're gonna bring the gain way up because we just want to make this slightly more interesting than it is and since this is a bit of a hipster vintage look let's go over to our curves and select our soft clip and just bring this up a bit let's ungang these and let's bring our blue up even more just to give it a little bit of that more interestingness so let's see before and after we've already got a good bit going i'm really liking these blues that are coming out so I'm going to go back to the curves and go to hue versus saturation. Just select these blues and bring them way up. And then to offset that, to create some color contrast, I even see we have some reds in here. So let's go and select some reds and bring those way up. So now we've got some interesting looks going on. This is much less boring. I've really been liking recently creating that blue and red contrast in my grades. So I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun with that. The next thing we're going to do is just crank up our saturation a good bit not too too much see it's getting a little bit green i don't want that let's just go and take that out oh magic isn't resolve great look at that let's just let's take a look at that again before you nasty terrible after cinema these yellows are pretty neat too let's bump them up just a bit without getting too much green in there now we've got some interesting stuff happening Next, let's go and, and add a serial node. And in here, let's make this sky go a funny color. And let's make it not look like actual sky. Let's make it look kind of a little bit light leaky. So we'll go over to our Power Windows tab and create this gradient one. And we'll move it up to the top of the screen and very top and then feather it way down to about the middle. Let's change this offset and we'll make the sky yellowy. We'll make the sky blue. Since it was cloudy and boring. And we're not trying to fool people and make them think that it's a sunny day outside. We're just adding a light leak thing. And the next thing we'll do is add what's called an outside node. So just go up to add outside node or alt O. And what this does is it basically inverts the mat that we created with the power window up here onto this one. So we can hit control A to see where we're selected. So here we've got the bottom of the screen selected in this outside node. And the one before that, we just got this top part selected. So super handy, you only have to make one grade. And actually, let's even go one further. And let's right click and add a parallel node because these can be going at the same time. Let's delete this link and let's add one input and bump this guy over there. And let's delete this, this over there. Make sure these are coming from the same place. There we go, look at that. Now let's just connect this over to the output. Nice, and hit Shift H again to unsolo stuff so when you've got the parallel combiner node you get no you get a flat grade which is not very helpful right now so hit shift h to get out of that now I'll go select this bottom node and we will make it let's make it 
reddish. And now I really want these blue trucks to still be in there. So let's right click, do add node and do key mixer. And what this will do is let us add more than one mat together and then output it to a node. So we're getting pretty advanced stuff here. I wasn't really intending on making this advanced, but you know, whatever. So we'll take the key output from our top node and then we will create another corrector node and we'll just connect this to our first guy here and we will make sure it's key output is set to this key input and this key output is set to this key input and then we will add one more node oh thank goodness run do we'll add one more input to our parallel node let's get this halfway organized goodness put this there and that there and connect this up actually we don't even need that connected so with this what we're going to do is hit shift h to make sure it's the only thing selected and we're going to bring the saturation all the way up and since this uh grade isn't being output to anything all we care about is getting a good key so that's why we can just kind of crank the saturation like that and not even worry go over to our qualifier windows and just select the blue see it's a little bit narrow right now let's go up to our hue control and just feather this out a bit it's looking good let's unclick now we'll keep saturation in there glow and make that and we'll make sure these are a little bit softer and we'll soften out these guys the luminance does yeah we'll definitely keep that in there we'll just soften this out some more and then we'll zoom in and see how this is looking it's a little bit a little bit finicky so let's clip black and just get rid of no nah, that's not doing what i want it to do let's blur it some so we'll just blur the mat some it just gets us a little bit you know a little bit less that gets us a little bit more fuzzy of a selection. Let's also denoise it some too. Maybe bring our blur radius back down a bit. Yeah, that denoise helps out. All right, now I can hit Shift H again. And now we can see over here, we can see that the blue parts of the truck and stuff are not being uh, made this orangey color, which is really great. So let's see if we can disable this. Yeah, there we go. Disabling this node. So before, they're kind of muddly. And after, they really pop. So last year, we're going to kind of finalize up this grade. And let's just add another serial node. Let's make these a little bit neater just because they're so ugly right now. That looks good. All right. Okay. I feel much better. So now in this next one, we're going to add a little vignette, which will be cool. So we just add another circle qualifier and make this nice and big, nice and feathery. And since the focus is on the airplane, we'll make it not quite in the center. And we'll be sure to invert it because you can see if you don't invert it, let me just turn the gamut down. We're making the center darker. But when you invert it, you make the outsides darker, which is exactly what we want. Great. So now we've got something that's looking pretty cool. I'm liking this. I just want to make it even a little bit more contrast. Let's hit Alt S and let's bring our gamma up and our lift down and nudge our gain just a little bit more. And now these blacks are getting a little bit crushed for me down here. So what I can do is take another output from this key, bring it over to this tab. And now you can see without these keyed out, it's kind of dark and bleh. And with it, then they're a lot more poppy. So now I've got something looking pretty cool. Let's even make the sky one a little bit more dramatic. So let's bring our gain up. Not that far. Offset a little bit further. Oh, there we go. Coming down a little bit. And that's neat. And let's add like a fake sun type thing. So let's darken up this vignette a little bit more. Bring it in a little bit tighter and feather it out some. And now we'll just add another light leak type thing. And I'll do this in parallel with this node. So hit Alt P. Add another circle window. i bring this up to where I want our fake sun to be. I'll make it a little bit ovally and feather this out. I'll make this yellow and we'll bring the gain up. Let's see what that looks like without the window there. Great. I think that's looking pretty good. So I'll hit Alt D to see before and after. I'd say that's a pretty big difference. How about you? We've got some pretty complicated stuff going on. So people will think that, you know, we're really good at our job, which is always important. Key mixes and parallel nodes. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope even more that you learned something. If you liked the tutorial, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, be sure to give it a dislike. If you got more complicated feelings than that, be sure to leave me a comment down in the comments below. I always love reading those. If you want your friends to think that you're really smart, be sure to share this tutorial because you know, there's some pretty complicated stuff going on here. While you're sharing this on your various social platforms, be sure to go check out Mr. Media's various social platforms. We've got Facebook and Twitter, links for which are in the description. Be sure to go check them out. If you want to see even more Mr. Media stuff, be sure to go on to our website at www.mesnermedia.com. This power grade, along with a bunch of other free stuff, is under the downloads tab. And as we all know, 
free downloads are always fun. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meesner Media YouTube channel. That's also completely free, and, you know, I think we put out good stuff. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesner Media. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.